Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today we're going to be talking about the groovy truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me Zod. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in, because SE Geek begins now. Okay, this time we're going to be talking about Groovy Truth. Um, Before I get into that, I'm going to just show you one thing that I kind of screwed up last time just to fill in. Um, Basically, as I said, that these are array lists, and as you see, I have here print line list class dot name, and if I run that, you see it is indeed an array list. But going based off of this, um, one of the things that Groovy has is it has its you know its own version of the truth like any other language um, you know truth can vary depending on how things are coursed and and along those lines so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go if and we're going to go true and we're going to print line is true and then we're going to do else we're going to do print line is false and actually I'm just going to do another def var equals true and take this out of the way and put var here so now if I run that obviously I get is true and if I change this to false, run it again, I get is false. Fairly straightforward, true and false, you know, work the way you would expect them to. But like a lot of languages, like C, 1 is true, and 0 is false. But something that you might not expect is, let's say, list, which is a list that contains some things. If I run that, it comes back true. But if I run list 2, which has nothing in it, it comes back false. So this gives you just a way to compact your some of your if statements and you know your checks. So you know if a collection has anything in it, it'll be true. If it doesn't, it has it'll be false. Um, also, if you do null, that is also fa- considered false. So anything that's like an empty collection or null. Uh, if you do wrap it with an if statement, will come out to be, you know, the false, you know, it would go to the else condition if there was one or it just skip over, you know, if you didn't have this condition, it just skip over this uh, statement. So, you know, that can be very useful and you can use that to your advantage and it's something that you should be aware of. Now, another thing that's uh, very different within uh, Groovy's version of the truth is, um, say you have... Let's uh, do um, just another print line here, and we're going to do list, and we'll go equals equals one comma two comma three, which with this one, you know, in Java, this isn't right. These are two different objects. This should come back false. In Groovy, however, we'll get rid of this for now. If we run this, this is going to come back true. Because in Groovy, this uh, operator right here is equivalent to dot equals in Java. Um, There's also an is uh, operator, which is equivalent to the identity. But, you know, you you get the idea. This one allows you to do checks for, you know, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, excuse me, dot equals. Which is, you know, you use that a lot more than just equals equals, you know, because you use objects a lot more rather than uh, primitives but that's one thing to keep in mind Uh, another operator that's used a lot for just checking quality is the uh, compare to uh, which allows you to get uh, you know the uh, if it's if if it's less than negative one if it's equal zero and if it's greater than positive one and for that groovy has the spaceship operator so 
you know, you do with that what you will. Um, it can be very useful, and that's pretty much all I have to say about the groovy truth. Just you know, keep it in mind because it's useful. And but if you don't know what you're doing, you could get into trouble with you know your if statements. If you think something's supposed to be false that isn't, and a good way to check that is just to set up you know some code like this uh, in the command shell and just see you know how things come out so that you know oh yeah that's how it works in Groovy. So with that, I'll talk to you next time.